Hey everyone, thank you for joining us for the Cleaning and Cocktails podcast. This is where I get the opportunity to speak with fellow cleaning business owners, small, medium, and large. We take the time to let them share their stories on the ups and downs in the industry. I also speak with other experts and professionals in the industry, from your manufacturers, your suppliers, trainers, as well as other types of entrepreneurs. My mission is to empower our cleaning industry to inspire and motivate each and every one of you. I want you guys to reach new heights of success and learn from one another. My goal is to have you walk away with some tips, secrets, advice, and opinions that are relevant to all of us in our day-to-day hustle and grind while we're out there in the field working every single day. So sit back and share a cocktail with us and enjoy the show. All right, everybody. So welcome to another episode of Cleaning and Cocktails. We're in season two now, and I can't believe it's taken this long to have this episode, right? The humble beginnings of Rosalado. Uh, I've been hearing from everybody who wants to hear our story, and we know, right, that what is the show about? Sharing stories of the cleaning industry. We're here to empower the cleaning industry by storytelling, right? Sharing the stories of other cleaning business owners, um, suppliers, manufacturers, softwares, everybody who has anything to do with making the cleaning industry better, we want to hear from and we want, we want to share their story. But today, I get to share my story, right? And who better to share with than my lovely wife, Marley, and my business partner, cousin, brother, Tony. Um, this, this is the other side of Rosalado. This is the foundation of Rosalado. You guys know it's all about family. So I'm super, super excited. But before we start, I want to do a cheers, right? Because it's called Cleaning the Cocktails for a reason. So you guys, cheers. cheers. Thank Absolutely. you guys for jumping on with me. And let's get started. So, Marley, my <laughs> wife. My, she was my girlfriend at first, when we first started. We How? never walked into an account and told them we were the, I was the girlfriend. Cause yeah. Who goes into a, That's unprofessional. a business That's unprofessional. Say, this is my girlfriend? Like, mm, so let's... Sounds so great, you know, let's start with you. <laughs> business partner. Let's start Long with time girlfriend. Like we did, <laughs> we start. Our, so the company started eight years ago, and the company name is Rose Lottery and Company at that point. So, how we came up with the name was very, you know, I mean, Tony, touch on what what, what did you say earlier last time? The well, scar, scar. So yeah, I, I even for, I forgot about that. That's no, how so long I forgot about so many things. Yeah, yeah. So it's a blur. Um. Well, I'm Tony Pedroza. The Rosa and Rosalado, and uh, it would have been Scar Rosalado, because Marley's last name is Gardena, and Ricky tells me, Tone, what do you think of the name Scar Rosalado? And I was like, bro, what the hell? She's <laughs> going to be your wife. It doesn't sound good either. No, and it sounds like shit. I think the name Scar is kind of cool though, but <laughs> maybe with Rosalado at the end of it, I don't know. But I was like, Rick, she's going to be your wife, so why Scar Rosalado? What are we going to do when you marry her? And I was like, you better marry her. <laughs> so we dropped the scar part knowing that she's going to be uh, Regalado. And that's where Rosalado came. And then the end company is um, because you could go into oh, that yeah. part well, a she, little more. She, I mean, she loved Tiffany and Company. Well, what girl does it? I just well, liked inc- the end co. The end co. And it, so it was like a, it, felt it looked better. Yeah. When you wrote, when you, you know, end co, it looked better. No, yeah. it did. And I think it, um, with our story and it comes with a lot more. I think that end co mm-hmm. makes sense because of, you know, when we started, it wasn't just us. It was us at the beginning, but like now a it's, week or two. And the and, and company, the company. Meaning our family. Right. And Cole, you know, because they they were right there with us the whole time, mm-hmm. you know. So, and our loyal loyal people. So I think that and com- and company does it's justice. Yeah, you know, I so, agree. So to give you guys a little bit of context too, though, on on who our audience is, uh, small business owner, mom and pop shop, just getting into the business or hitting the refresh on their business, right? Plus, we we have a lot of large size companies that are looking out to see, you know, what what do they need to help improve their culture. Because I, I, do you guys agree, plain and simple, that culture is a big reason for our success? 100%. Oh, right? yeah. Yeah. But, and this is what I tell, I try to tell a lot of the cleaning business owners that we talk to on a daily basis is, uh, you've got to do the cleaning yourself first. Let's touch on the beginnings. Because this whole episode is going to be about the beginning. Who cares where we are today? You know, let's talk about how did we get here. Those humbling beginnings. And it starts with 
each and every one of us cleaned toilets, yeah. scrubbed, messed up VCT floor, <laughs> didn't do carpet cleaning right. I think we soaked the carpet at one point. Oh, man. Window washing. I'm the worst window washer. But all this is going, you guys, is we did everything ourselves yeah. first, yeah. starting with Marley and Tony. But Marley, you were a makeup artist. So what, what the hell were you? How did the hell did you get into cleaning? Well, I was a makeup artist for MAC Cosmetics for maybe eight, seven or eight years. I don't know. Loved the artistry. Then it, it, we turned into numbers at the end. Like it, it wasn't, it, it, they took away the fun. So I was like, I got to go. And an opportunity presented itself to us. And But I, Marley, Marley was a very sought out makeup artist. So oh, yeah, I should do it. To me, I thought when, that was going to be another business idea. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I remember people say, hey, uh, can I get Marley's number? You know, and for a wedding, then I would find out like, oh, man, okay. Marley's killing it. You yeah. know, I'm like, how do we piggyback on that? You know, <laughs> I'll do makeup. I don't care. <laughs> but uh, that goes to show you though, you know, if you're not happy with what you're doing, right? it's it's not going to, it's not going to happen. Dude, and it, and it does, I mean, let's be real too, Mar. Like you came home the last couple of times crying. Yeah, you were crying. Not happy you were at all. not happy. She was upset. Yeah. And I was like, I was feeling it. Well, that's I, but what I happen- wasn't happy either. Well, and that's what happens when you take love out of something that you love to do. Yeah. Like, no, I get it. I, I still, to this day, I love makeup. But when you take the love out of it, or when somebody else takes the love out of it and it just becomes a job, yeah. you know, it's not fun anymore. So yeah. it was a, the timing was right, and an opportunity presented itself, and here we are. Um, we were presented with something great that. But but even in even we didn't even actually we didn't know if it was going to be great or no, not. Because I'll tell you, and this is what I I mean I've shared already is, in the first year, even two years, I still had another job. Like yeah. I, I would still yeah. try. You know, I would work at the bar at night. I would try to be. You know, working in other areas because I would always think, oh, this is cool. This is going to be a side hustle. You know, it's going to be all right. Tony's got a full-time job. Right. We'll, we'll help Marley when we can. And we'll, you know, it'll be good for, for us on the side. But you guys got to believe that when we went all in, that's when we seen yeah. Yeah, the reward. Mm-hmm. But right? Marley, Marley was the first one to fully commit by quitting her job. Because when we first took this on, all of our accounts were... 45, no, an hour and a half. I mean, we said the best time was about 47 minutes, yeah. 52 <laughs> minutes, but it was like an hour, hour and, and we a half. had 30 accounts to yeah. cover. Yep. So Marley was the an first one to fully away. commit. And I forget, I think she was there for a week or two. And then I went, I took my vacation time to go train with Marley as well. And um, I mean, we had a good time looking back at it now, yeah. but. We made the, we made it yeah, fun. But it was hard. It was hard just that commute within itself, you know? Because we thought we were, you know, hey, you guys handle the day shift, I'll handle the night shift. Mm-hmm. Um it's just going into it and then knowing what it entailed, we bit off more than we can chew at first. <laughs> yeah, cuz think about the numbers too. Like so everybody knows I mean, none of us came from business ownership. We didn't have any ideas how you know, doing your tax returns work. We didn't know how to manage cash flow. We didn't know how to bill. But we knew nothing. Nothing. Um, nothing. Let alone cleaning. Let alone how to how to clean properly and follow those procedures, right? So, it just go. It goes to show, like, this is why I, I'm just so strong on the fact of you have to do the cleaning first. Absolutely. Right. Because I think when we started cleaning first, we started to understand, man, why is this account taking so long? Mm-hmm. Man, how can we finish this one so fast? Right. Man, this chemical sucks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh man, that brooms. Like, we started to realize things that would help us do our job better. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, again, to to say we were lucky because we had each other. Mm-hmm. Oh right? yeah. Like you guys. I wouldn't have done it by myself. Like we we, we had f- we had fun. We did have fun. We, we had did. fun. But that's because, I mean, we're friends. Yeah. You know, I was I was the girlfriend. Yeah. So we were friends. We weren't family yet. I mean. But we had fun together. Like, yeah. You were my boyfriend. I got to go to work with my boyfriend every day. <laughs> yeah. You know, it was it was a nice change up for sure because it wasn't didn't feel like going to work every day it because didn't. you were with people that you loved. 
every yeah. day. You didn't receive a paycheck, but no, you yeah. still got to go to work I every think, day with someone you love. I think that was a rude awakening, though, when we uh-huh. started, we saw the first paycheck, and then we divvied it up after gas. And everything else, and we're like, oh, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, re- I remember Everybody when... forgets about ga- re- just gas alone and the, and the cost of supplies yeah. and equipment and maintenance of yeah. a car. Like, yeah, we were left with, I think we were making 1000 each. We right? left. We a left, thousand each a month? I don't even know. I remember having $30 in my bank account Would and you? thinking, oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah. Okay. Or putting gas on credit cards. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It we couldn't ga- pay for was, gas. It was legit a But yet we still had to drive an hour and a half away. Yeah. But we'll put, we'll put it on the days card. of oh putting ten dollars on that card, oh God, fifteen dollars on that card, eight dollars <laughs> on this card. I remember when I think your mom was in the car with us and she was coming to clean at some point. I don't remember when it was, but we were all in the car at the gas station together pumping gas. I wanted a pack of gum, and your mom was like, Oh, I'll get it for you. I'm like, No, 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 I'll get it. Don't worry about it. I just wanted a pack of gum. So I went in and got it. My car declined. I couldn't even oh, buy yeah. a pack of gum. And I was like, oh, I should have had Carmen go get the gum. Because <laughs> I couldn't afford it. I mean, there was no money in the account. It was There was nothing there. I couldn't no. even buy a pack of gum. But I think that's, I um, that. that's one of those things I think other companies need to know that, you know, it's not going to be success right away. No. It's going to be hard. Yeah. And it's... You know, it's worth so much more because of how hard it was. Right. Because you wrote, wrote the storm out. Because mm-hmm. um, perseverance, you know. When we talk about those nights of getting home and being oh. beat tired. Oh, man. Oh, my and God. Then, you know how good it felt to lie in the bed? Oh, my God. But then I remember. would we go to sleep right away? No. Because we would be having we, the thoughts that were in our head. Did I do this? Did yeah. I do that? Right. Nobody's on the hook at that point other than you because we're doing, we're, we were the ones cleaning. Right. You know what I mean? So now it's different, you know, but then it was like us, only us. Mm-hmm. So that was what's on our mind the whole time. Like, hey, did I do this? Did I do that? How oh about how about when you, you drive home, or you, you work all day, all day. And when I say all day, it's like, 18 it's, hours. Not a, it's not an eight hour day. Yeah. It's like. 14 hours, 18 hours, well, you know, whatever it is. You're not only an hour away from home or you have to go there, clean all day long, drive back and lay in bed and think, oh, did I lock those doors? Yeah. And it's on you if you don't lock those doors yeah. to whatever it's a doctor's office, a school. At the, In this case, it was a school. Do you remember that, Ricky? Yeah, yeah. I remember. We all. went to the school. We had just we, gotten we home. We got home, yeah. laid in bed, thought, oh, my God, my body hurts so bad. I can't <laughs> wait to go to bed. To think, did we lock the doors? To get back into the car, drive another hour or so back, to check the doors, they were locked. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But we felt good, though. Well, it was good that we, like, ch- yeah, we felt, we felt good. We're we like, felt, I mean, it's okay. okay talking about it now. But now, at that time, at that time I was like, like oh, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. but I think, like I said, you know, it tastes so much better now because of that. Mm-hmm. And I think everybody needs to remember that. Like, when you're starting off, yeah. if it's easy, it's it's not going to be, it's not going to taste as good. It's not going to feel as good, man. Mm-hmm. It's got to be hard for you to... Um, to just appreciate it mm-hmm. more, you know, because when things like what what's that saying, you know, um, uh, I don't know exactly how it goes, but it's saying pretty much what I'm saying, you know, that nothing is not worth as much if there's no struggle in it, you right? No, oh, yeah, I forgot yeah. what. I mean, we, we'll just think about like how many times we failed. Right? Oh man, we failed many times. How many services did we did we lose money on? But we knew going into it, and this is why it's all mindset. It's all. Positive mindset, uh, reinforcing each other's confidence, knowing that we we could mess up, but we're going to learn from it to be better the next time, right? And I tell the story all the time about mine and yours first strip of wax, <laughs> where it's, but if it wasn't for that day, like, we wouldn't have known that that machine is supposed to create soot. Like yeah. That. Or that oh, Ricky's going at Ricky, it. Ricky, you're supposed nonstop. to dilute. You're supposed to dilute the stripper. 
I didn't dilute the freaking stripper. He, he, had, a red, he had a red solo cup putting stripper in it and then the pouring floor. it. And then I went over there and that tile was like. It was white. It was white. <laughs> it was, a, you could but see I'll tell you what. Through it. The cu- we, we spent 24 hours. You paid a, for that stripper. On a wax. job <laughs> that we bid for eight hours. I think we bid, we bid it for. I think it was and eight Ralphie or was six with or you eight. Guys, so right? We, no, no. So we were there a total, I think, I want to say 16 hours between. And that was 16 hours. Like we got there at eight in the morning <laughs> and left oh like at God. 10 at <laughs> night or whatever the case may be, but two in the morning. And, uh, that's like 16 hours times three. Yeah. And we bid it for like six to eight. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, and though. And we're still worried, like, is it going to be happy? But we did. We left they were happy. Good. The they client were was happy. happy. Why? Because the floor shined. Well, you know what? So, but again, that but, talks about. But the about, client didn't even, like, yeah. we paid for that. We paid for the job we 10 times yeah. over. Yeah. Like, we're still paying for the job. <laughs> but the truth, like, I think that job is like what. Like I look back at that job and I'm I'm so happy that that happened. Oh, yeah. You know Dude, because that, that happened and then think about some of the carpet cleaning jobs that yeah. we do that we oversaturated the carpet. Yeah. But what? Mm-hmm. It happened to us though. Yeah. Like, yeah. If it's gonna happen to anybody, it let might it as happen well to happen to us, us yeah. not our, you know. not the employees. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Because again, when and I feel like that's why I know I do. I always have a soft spot for everybody that works with us because oh, yeah. when they're out there struggling or it's raining or they messed up, they poured this, they dropped that, they stained this, they whatever they I always feel like, wow oh, man, I did man, that I've too. I've been there, I know. I've been there. So ah, let's give them a shot. Yeah. You know, but you yeah. know we know that it you can't always do that, but I feel like it 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 created a soft spot for us as owners for our team to always give them the benefit of the doubt. Empathy. You can empathy. relate, you know. Empathy. Yeah. And that's what everybody that is in this industry needs to know is if you're building a cleaning company, you should you should want to do everything yourself first, man. Yeah, like, no, I think yeah. you that's have why to. like you you Marley has been taking care of our beautiful boys for the past couple of years. She could start tomorrow back in the office and pick up like that. Why? Yeah. Because she's done it all. Like Stripping you could wax, leave for carpet six clean. months and come back. And pick it up like that. Why? Well, because we I mean, did I everything. did. Yeah, we did. It I all. did, and and I I don't know if everybody knows the stories, but I, I was gone. Saying, to, to let everybody know how you had to step away for a bit right. and you came back. But yeah. like again, share that tone. That's an important piece, it's I think. Huge. Well, yeah. So when we first started, it was four of us. It was Ricky, Marley, me, and my late wife. And uh, I think it was six months into it or whatnot. Um, she was diagnosed with breast cancer and and from there it was a it was a battle mm-hmm. it was a it was a rough yeah you know had good moments bad moments and then you know being a father seeing your kids hurt you know i mean that was hard yeah you know so but for me like what i felt inside other than that was like man rick and marley are, are doing this and i still gotta be i was working at the county at the time which if anybody for from the counties watching, um, I miss my bros. Shout you out, know, shout, shout out. out, shout out, <laughs> but um, anyhow, so yeah, I was gone from being with you guys for a couple years because of you know all that adversity, adversity, um, and it, it was super, super hard, you know. And when I think about it now, I just think about the kiddos, I think about um, not being there with you guys. You know, just everything because Marty, you were super close to her. Yeah, Rick, she was my best shit. friend. So it was, it was super. We wa- we were, we were meaning to do this together. Yeah, it was us four. Yeah, this was like this was gonna be what we yeah. did together. Yeah, we no, and I, and I and I remember just even to this day, like every time anybody, you know, when when we were on our own doing it all. And then every day, Tony would check in, like, dude, you know, I feel so bad. I want to, yeah. you know, can I be? And we're like, yeah. bro, you got enough to worry about. Right. Like, yeah. we, don't worry about what we got. And again, that is what our company is based on, is family. Yeah. Like, Tony wanted to be here with us, couldn't be here. But guess what? The door was open. Tony's seat was here. Yeah. It was warm. It was ready. As soon as he came back, what did we say? Tony's back. Killed All right, him. yeah. He's but killing it. But but hold on. Let me go back. When Becky was here and when you guys were in it, you know, we had fun. 
Yeah. When Stupid Becky and fun. I know, Stupid fun. when Becky and I would be cleaning, we had so much fun. She and had then, so many ideas. And then when you and I would go cleaning yeah. by ourselves, had so much fun. But, 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 but hold on. I mean, each other, we, but didn't you guys we say, would have didn't, so much fun. Didn't we do like a, a timeout for a moment? You guys were like, wait a minute. I think Ricky and Becky work better together. Yeah. And I, think, <laughs> Marley, and I think Tony, Tony and Marley yeah. work better. Let's start separating. And ourselves. we did a little, yeah. and it was so much fun. Yeah. But then, like, but then when Rick, when Becky and I would work together, we would have a lot of fun. Yeah. No. So, so that's when. So after she got sick, you know, to me that was, um, damn, I gotta leave. Right. This our I wouldn't say dream because it wasn't our dream. It's just we just capitalized on something. Uh-huh. Now looking back at it now, you know, but, um, it was, it was probably the most challenging thing, but I knew, like I said before, I knew for a fact that we were going to do something big, you know, whatever we went through, whatever heartaches, whatever, um, trials, tribulations, I knew that there's something big coming, you know? Yeah. Well, think, and then I, My mom reminded me of this, but Tony, I mean, you know, we, and our, it was, it was either our second or third year. I think our second year, my mom and dad moved in. Mm -hmm. My brother moved in. Mm -hmm. To our apartment. To our apartment. This is an apartment. This is an apartment that should only have three people living there. We had six bedroom. Yeah. We had like like five or six people. But think and a dog. Yeah, we're Mexican. And Roscoe. That's but we're Mexican. Yeah, we're Mexican. So. Come on, man. That's six. This is what we do. Right? That's weak. Yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> but like, I remember my mom sacrificing my dad. Let's, we didn't yeah. even touch on your mom and my dad working for free for first six months. Yeah. Let alone, that's a sacrifice. If not, probably more than six months. Or more. Actually. But it was more than I think six we still months. owe Tilly. Yeah. Which <laughs> Tilly's still with us right now. She runs our that's payroll. That's my mom. She's. Um, but we, we had my mom and dad move in with us. And think about this coming from me, too, Tone. Like, this is my girlfriend. She's not my wife. Yeah. So she's taking in my family, my mom and dad, and my brother. My brother's si- sleeping on the couch, and we're like, oh, "We're gonna make this work. Yeah. We're gonna, you know, this, this this is gonna work." Even I knew it was gonna work. We had been together for at that point. That with that, how many years ago was that? We've been together for I think at least now twenty years. Twenty years. Yeah. Now. I was seventeen when I started dating you. So at that point, we had been together for what probably like. I don't know. 10 years. 10. I don't even know. Mm -hmm. It was, we had been together for a long time. It was a sure thing. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Thank you. (laughs) You were a sure thing. (laughs) But like, all right. So like just sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. Like I'm I'm big on it's, it comes back. Karma's good. Right. Mm -hmm. But like we haven't stopped. Yeah. Everything we do today is, is still about giving, you know, paying it forward. Just respect integrity being humble yeah right? so I, and i and i wanted to touch on the first couple of years you guys because in, in this industry especially the first year people fail they give up they it's not they think the cleaning industry is easy uh, it's 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 lonely again mm-hmm. we got lucky yeah. we had us yeah. we had our, we had each other but the first 3 years is a struggle that's when these companies they're trying they're trying they're trying they end up failing they give up they move on I want the people that are in the listening here, watching us, right? Like, you know, sacrifice it. Yeah. Why? Because what did entrepreneurship do for us? It opened doors. It gave us every opportunity to work for ourselves, right? Because who gets the opportunity to be their own boss, make their own decisions, oh, make, yeah. make uh, good or bad, right? Because yeah. we made many bad decisions, mm-hmm. but you have to you get you get the freedom to create a, a vision and a dream for the people that are working for you and yourself. But then, the, I mean, it, you know, our employees can attest to this. I don't even like calling them employees. They're team yeah. members. But yeah. we want them to live a dream. We want them to to create a vision for themselves. Like, how awesome has it been in these first couple of, in, in the first couple of years when we knew what we were doing? Like, what else can you guys share that stuck out to you guys that made you think this was going to work? Hmm. I think, um, honestly, like I would say, and I've said it before, it's the way we, because we're not always going to agree on things, yeah. any of us, but I think it was the way we approached each other. Yeah. Because we, there'd be times Rick and I would bump heads, you know, I would make fun of Rick, 
you know, what the fuck, dude? Like, with his voice, you know? But there'd be times where Ricky and I didn't agree on things. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, but it's the way we talk to each other. It's the way we work through the problems. Yeah, I, I would agree. knowing yeah. that we're going to get through it, you know? I think, to me, that was, like, what put us over the edge. Like, hey, shit, we're going to do this. You know, I, I agree. It's, I knew we were going to get through it because we had each other. Mm -hmm. Period. I couldn't have done it by myself. I wouldn't have done it by myself. I would not have quit my job knowing I was going to do it alone because it is lonely. So do you guys, yeah. I mean, hearing that, do you guys think a good tip or a good piece of advice is, you know, find somebody? Well, I, if, mean, if, I mean, it's, it's, it's hard, though. Person. It is tough. It really does. I mean, I feel like we have a very unique scenario yeah. here. Yeah. Um, so I, I wouldn't discourage people to do it alone no i wouldn't go ahead do it kill it this is my personal uh, my experience this is our story yeah i couldn't have done it alone i'm i'm sure there's other people out there that could have sure. and and do but because of who i did it with m gave me the confidence to say okay let's go let's do this it's because trust man it's, having trust in yeah, like the people that work with you 100 percent. and trust. i think that's you know yeah. finding people that you trust, mm -hmm. you know, because trust is huge. Without huge. it, you got nothing. Well, and then think about what we're doing, you guys, too, is we're, you know, owning a cleaning business is being an entrepreneur, regardless. It doesn't matter what business you own. This is entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. Now, think about the weight on our shoulders right now for how many employees we have, how many people's lives we're responsible for right now. Yeah. Like, that's something that people have to understand when you're building a business that comes with the territory. Yeah. You know, like... But, the but stories of people like struggling. Like, don't you love helping? Help. Oh, like, shoot. If anything, Tony's like the biggest heart of our of our yeah. business is yeah. we're impacting lives. We are positive positively impacting people's lives. And this is the opportunity you get by owning a business, let alone in cleaning. I got to say it's it's been the best feeling yeah. of my life cuz it's opened up so many doors. And to me though, if you're going to this is what I always say if you know, the cleaning industry, people talk about the help, you know, the hired help. Man, if you're going to do something and you're doing it big or semi-big or bigger than, you know, a few accounts, you're doing it in an industry where people look down on. Like, if you can grow and do something big with this industry that people look down on, like, man, kudos to you. You know, because it's, to me... Seeing our staff, you know, our team members, you know, grow and become, have their own accounts, become, you know, not even sp good speaking, like good, not, they don't, they can't even speak good English at first. And then through the confidence and through learning and then them starting their own businesses, like, man, what better feeling is it mm -hmm. than that? Like, like this is a there's been scenarios hard industry. Yeah, let's let let's talk about Ricky's common sense. And let's or talk lack about, thereof. And, or lack thereof. And let's talk about Tony's MacGyver skills. Mm -hmm. And let's talk about Marley's your, common sense. Your com your you're my <laughs> what is it? You're my yin to my yang. Right? Hundred <laughs> percent. So perfect example is at the daycare. We won't name names. We're not naming in any kind of names of any no. accounts here. But but then I, I'll talk about me oh getting your God, back, too, at the greatest. other daycare. Remember with the guy that they didn't even give you any respect? So yeah. we'll, let's talk about that. All right. Okay. So I'll, let's, talk, I'll, let's talk about when the mop bucket spilled over, Marley. Okay. What happened? We were finishing up a daycare. And if anybody knows about cleaning daycares, it's it's a motherfucker. Yes. Anyway. <laughs> so we're cleaning a daycare. Long night. We had cleaned all day, finishing up, and Ricky spills a dirty mop bucket all over the floor and a rug. Like, so, like the front mat area it's of like the, the front door. The welcome, the welcome mat, mat <laughs> of the floor of the daycare. Dirty water. I'm like, oh my God, are you kidding me? He was rolling it across the, the floor and it got caught on the rug and it tipped over. The first thing Ricky goes and gets is a roll of toilet, uh, a roll of paper towels. 
with a mop bucket. <laughs> you go get a mop. You go get a roll of paper towels, but you have a mop with a bucket and a ringer. He gets paper towels. Be, I just, I'm like I Rick. Was, what was, are you doing? I was trying to clean up. Take the, the mop water. head, mop the water up, and wring it out. <laughs> he gets paper towels. Hey, Do you who? know how much how the the amount the amount of water on the floor versus the capacity of a roll of paper towels? It just, it just won't work. <laughs> who, who was with me? I, I know it's that same where I kept hearing a cricket. I kept hearing a cricket, and I was looking for it, and it had been like 30 minutes. It was like, me, I think. And you're like, you haven't done anything? And I was like, I can't find this noise. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like behind a plant or something. Oh my God. And I was getting so mad. I was trying to clean. Like, what have you hear, been doing the last 30 cricket. minutes? And I was like, oh, I'm cleaning, I'm cleaning. I hear, me, 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 whatever it was. Jeez. And I was like, find it. And she's like, what? Have you done in 30 minutes? I don't know. It could have been your wife for me. I think it was one of the I think two. it was you. But so but hey, that that was Ricky's common sense too. So how about when I got your back though? Yeah. Well, I mean that was like you had to. Go uh, ahead. So you could tell that story. There's, there's, I got no names. I don't even remember the guy's name. But, it wasn't worth remembering. So, wow. you know, in it's the begin wow. so in this is year 2. <laughs> it's cool. This is one of the first accounts I bid and we won, right? Where It was another daycare. It was another daycare. Good account. We had we had serviced it for almost two months, so we knew this account. We we're like, all right, cool, we're ready. Yeah, we can hire somebody for it. Mind you, I don't even think we've touched on the fact that we were doing our interviews at Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts for oh, the yeah. first couple of years, yeah. and on top of that, that we that Jimmy John's and Dunkin' Donuts were our food source, for, of, source of food nutrition. for two years. Uh-huh. You know, we won't talk about that the Dunkin' Donuts sausage egg and cheese wraps. Three of them. Every day, seven days a week was my go-to. But let's talk about this guy. That, peanut butter and jelly, though. Like uh, we we got to the point where well, yeah, peanut, 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 peanut take home, and tortillas and tortillas and, and, yeah. and salad, all that. So bowls of cereal. <laughs> this, so Tony, this guy. So we set up interviews because you know we got to go meet people. Yeah. You know, like we're trying to find like everybody here's gonna run into when you're hiring in the beginning. You know, you have to find the people that are gonna work at this account. And the way we approached it was. We would hire people and give them like a lump sum. We would say, hey, it's five days a week, three, four hours. Uh, you know, this is a thousand dollar a month account. So like th- these are the conversations we're having. This guy comes up. He's got the experience. I read, we were doing our hiring on Craigslist. Remember the first mm-hmm. couple of years? Yeah. So then we meet this guy at Dunkin Donuts. He comes in. We meet him at the account. This is some scary shit, though, guys. With right? his, like, he was with his we, wife. We meet awesome. people that we don't know. Yeah. We're taking yeah. them to an account that only we have the keys. Right. And we're about to give them the keys. Yeah. So this is, I, it's, it's like weary. Like this yeah. is a, I don't know it's, what's no, gonna it's like, it, it's a tough situation in the cleaning industry when you have to give somebody keys that you just may have gotten two months ago right. from yeah. that client. Right. Yep. So it's the name of the game though. Yeah. This is the name of the game. So anyways, this guy, you know, he's, he's only, for some reason, he's only talking to me. He's only looking at me. He's only talking to me. And and we're walking through the account, and he's already coming in with his, you know, no, nah, that's not going to happen. You got to do this too. Mind oh, you, he's no, this... probably also twenty years older than us. Yeah, he's yeah. in his he's in his yeah. late forties, early fifties mm-hmm. at the time. And yeah. We're what, like late twenties, early thirties. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, I, and we're just noted, and I feel like Marley looking at me like something's up, something's like not right. Mom, mom, mom. And yeah. I, what did he say? Like, <sighs> do you like what? He was just very belittling to women. He looked down. To women, I could tell by the way he spoke to his wife, like he wore the pants, like he spoke even down to her in the interview. Um, and when we went to the daycare to show him around and this tell him, you know, this is the job, he was speaking down to me when I was telling him like the tasks at hand at, at the location, you know, at the account. This is what we would have to do: the square footage, blah blah blah. And he was like, "No." This is not, this is, that, that doesn't take that long. But it was almost like he had like, it was like bruising his ego because yeah. he had a yeah. young he girl was just going against telling you him saying. what yeah. needed to be done. And you had gone and got something from the car real quick. And when you came back, I was like, Ricky, he doesn't seem to think that this is not whatever the scenario was. Like, this is not what it takes. And I also 
in that time told, you know, however I told you, like, he was being disrespectful. You just was like, you were just like, well, then you can leave. Because he was talking down to me. You knew it was disrespectful, and you stuck up for me, and you told him to leave, which I thought was kind of funny because it just really bruised his ego. And no, it was yeah, so it, great. But he was so disrespectful, and I'm not about being talked down to, and neither is... No, neither are you. No. Like, don't talk to me like that just because I'm, you know, younger or yeah. a woman or I don't play those games. So yeah, and and it's and, and neither it's, do you. It's like we were o- me and Tony were only as good as Marley was as good on the detail side. So yeah. it's like for for the women that are out there by themselves trying to build a business, more power to you. It's like do I can yeah. only I can only imagine how it is to walk in and, and have kids to, at home. And, yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Yeah. No, and then. Gosh. Look at look at our mindset now with the closets. We have that because we got we got a a woman's touch, you know. Like we are where we are because of all that, you know. If yeah. we have that attention to detail, no, we wouldn't. I wouldn't have had it. No, <laughs> you know? I I didn't. I, I'd be com- again. I didn't even have common sense according yeah. to Marley, but. <laughs> and then to like, there's you have a lot of other attributes. There's a lot of owners out there that are that are females too. Like good. Yeah. Like who. Who cares? Like, you know what I mean? You're doing it. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? And, and if somebody's going to think I look that down to you at that, oh. they're better than you yeah. or they got some power over you mm-hmm. because of, you know, the way God made you, man, like, you don't need that shit. Mm-hmm. Like, toodaloo, you know? Yeah. yeah. And that's exactly what we did. Toodaloo. And yeah. we, you shunned him away. That was great. So thanks. So, Appreciate yeah. It. So let's, now let's, um, because I was going to say, let's talk about some funny stories, but we've been sharing so many already. Uh, but again, thinking about the people that are in our shoes today, that are in the shoes that we were six years ago today, uh, it's much different now, right? Like with social media, things like that. Yeah. yeah. Like let let's talk about how how important it is. To, Should I have good credit? Well, because you got to open up credit cards and credit cards and credit cards. <laughs> I don't even want to. Marley knows. I don't even want to talk about credit. Once <laughs> once I sell route. We're building a credit, a credit repair company because I cannot stand how credit bureaus operate today. But yeah. that's a whole freaking that's another, another story. That's a whole that's another, another story. story. You gotta but, have good credit for another gas car. Well, no, let, let's talk about subway cars. Jimmy. Let's talk about uh, getting your business set up, right? Like, yeah, we've been talking about all the trials and tribulation of us doing the work, but now let's lead into those first hires. The huh. Like Jeez. what 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 we did when we got our first office, you know, at Lacuna Lofts. Mm-hmm. That was only a three person office, very small, sh- you know petite little office right but we were so proud but we went from that to the other office and then we grew 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 but first hires being you know your mom helping us with accounts payables receivables Mm -hmm. tony's mom helping us with payroll like you know you're starting to get in the groove when you know the right positions that we're hiring for and it's taken away from some of the work and the overload that we need to do because then we started to bring on you know bianni to do Quality, girl, quality, quality control, control and inspections. Mm-hmm. We brought Dominic to help with operations. You know, like or, me and Tony brought Freddie and Miguel and David, right, to run floors. Like, these are all jobs we did mm-hmm. first. Yeah. But it's, I cannot harp on if we didn't do it ourselves first. Oh, yeah. yeah. We Couldn't, would not know how to hire no. the next person. I yeah. think it's, it's knowing a person's strong. Their strengths. Yeah, their strengths, their, their strong attributes versus their mm-hmm. weak ones. And right. I wouldn't say capitalizing on it, but making their weak ones stronger, building them up, you know what I mean? Because there's times where, like, Ricky's better at certain things yeah. than I was, you know? Right. It's how to work with somebody to train them to know everything, you know? Mm-hmm. Like I said, if you got somebody that's not willing to learn, I don't want, I don't want to mess with that person. No. I don't, you know. Or somebody who wants, who knows it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I I don't, I don't. No, but I I think we started to realize who we were looking for, though. Yeah. Like, we knew that if you you were going to be a part of Rosalato, you needed to have passion. You needed to be grit. You needed to be proactive. Yeah. Like, we're not in the business of telling people what to do. We're just, you know, showing you the way to do it and then, Act on that. Yeah. You know, yeah. create your own position. Right. You know, like you guys don't even know. You got Steven behind here working the camera and doing everything that he's doing. But like 
it's people like him that we brought into this team. This is further down, but like that, always you know, he, he's a kid that right, took on what what I was telling him to do, and acted on it. Right. So that's and a, made that's it his an, own. That's an attribute that you everybody know? else that we have, we've shown them. This is what we want you to do. We really don't know. We, are, are, we expect you to do this, this, and this. But, but where you could take it is have at it. Be proactive. Yeah. Right. Because yeah, there's always people behind the scenes. You yeah. know, like the people that exactly. clean the accounts. People exactly. don't know who they are. They know the person that wouldn't talk to them, sold them the account and all that stuff. Right. They don't know the people cleaning the accounts. Like that's our job, you know, your guys' job out there to lift those people up and appreciate those mm-hmm. people because they're the ones in the shit every single day. Like right. Tony and Marley, you guys could both say, do you agree with me? You know how to go find business. You know how to go sell business. You know how to go propose a price to a business you know how to service the business you know what those expectations are and how to meet them you probably know how to invoice you know how to how to pay bills you know how to do payroll like i I feel like it's i'm like a broken record but like how confident would you feel if we not to say this is gonna happen but if we all broke up to go start all over again Uh, well yeah could you do it yeah, yeah, now because yeah. of everything we went through, uh-huh. but each one of those steps that you named it takes a it special. Took, it took time. Yeah, time. It took time, and mm-hmm. it takes a special person. A special but it took person. time to learn. Yeah. Each one of those took time. Like to think that I can go start my own business, like from when we first started. I didn't know all those. I'm not no. saying I I would I could enough, but I didn't know all those. Like but even each one to of this those, day, though, like. I wouldn't do it by myself. Yeah, you got to be willing to you learn, need, though. You need to like be willing those. to learn, and then Each you need to have people that you trust to do it with mm-hmm. you. And if you don't trust those people, yeah, and it's all let's, you know, you got to do it with trust. And it's doing it with good intention. Like, good I, intention. I say that all the good time. Like, doing it with good intentions because, like, like we were touch, we're talking about everything I went through earlier, and for a long time, you guys know I was I was lost. I didn't. I didn't have a drive, man. I felt like, damn, I'm having the worst luck with everything in life. Wow. Everything. I'd go yeah. to I'd go to Walgreens. Remember? We were at your wedding. Yeah. At, we remember. went to breakfast and I said, Rick, I'm gonna order first on purpose. I guarantee you yeah, my food is gonna come last. Aww. And it did. And I felt like, damn, what what is going on? You know? I just felt like that for <laughs> for the longest time. But to me, you know. I, I just felt like I got to keep pressing. I got to keep doing like, and I think that's what business owners like just remember that keep pressing because now I'm not saying I got a perfect life, but like, I never thought I'd find love again. Right. Mm-hmm. And like Janelle, another shout out. I wouldn't say shout out, shout out, but like, <laughs> or with my kids, you know, being at peace with things and right. being able to move on and doing mm-hmm. good in school. Like, I didn't think those things were possible. Happened, yeah. You know what I mean? But when you do things with good intentions, with everything, you're going to get results, man. Right. Yeah. It may not be right then and there, but be, later on it's going to come back. Patience. You know what I mean? you got to do things with good intentions. That's a great segue to, you know, we don't want to talk a lot about where we are today, but like think about the foundation we built. And, you know, things that stick out to you guys, right? I mean, I think we're all on the same page with we're empowering our employees. We're empowering our team because they're no, they're no longer employees. They're team. They're family, yeah. right? We, we are positive, right? We, we try. There's so many negative things in life that happen. Yeah. Let's do everything we can to look at the positive in things. Let's look at people that are proactive, right? Why? Because we want people to come into this business with us, uh, if, if you want to be an owner, if you want to be an entrepreneur, if you want to come in and this is a stepping stone to you to grow as a person, as an entrepreneur, let us be that stepping stone. Yeah, We're here to, to reinforce confidence in you that if you want to build a division, build it with us. It could be yours, but we're here to support you. Yeah. Because and what do we realize that you're, you're nothing in this life without the support team. Yeah. Right? It's a big piece of how we've been successful and I mean, it's it's the characteristics that we look for in people. And that Rosalado, again, the foundation of Rosalado is family. The foundation of Rosalado 
is that we are creating a lifestyle. You know, it's not just a black and white thing here. Like, yeah. even though black and white is the <laughs> colors that we live by, is it's a lifestyle. The lifestyle is happiness. Happiness is because it's our family. Mm -hmm. Family is who we love, right? So it's like, you, you know, people talk about, Rick, why do you guys share so much about the business? Why do you guys talk about cleaning so much? Why do you share so many insights? It's because you can't take our family. You can't take who we at, who we are at the core. That we'll share everything, right? Because this industry has changed yeah. our lives. Yeah, yeah. Really and that's is. why I think um, people need to remember that when when they're struggling, it's probably gonna get worse. But tomorrow's gonna happen. Like you're gonna get through today. You're yeah. gonna get yeah. through tomorrow. It's gonna as be better. As bad as it seems, yeah. and you being broke and it's gonna get better. You just got. You just have to keep pressing. Yeah. yeah. You have don't to. Give up. Yep. Just don't because give up. Because not not every story in cleaning and everything is is a success story. You know, like we failed plenty of times mm -hmm. to get where we're at. Yeah. Like it's not all. Like you said when we first started off, it's not all gravy over here. It, it, we struggled hard. Struggled you hard. Know? People don't even know. I it, literally. I think the first three years you would text me all, all the time, Rick. The the card declined. This, this again. We don't. That is the history. Yeah, that is, and food. even even it's, even at this level, we like a couple years. Like uh, last yeah. year, we we had 2019. Yeah, like oh, yeah. Yeah. last year we had we went through some. It doesn't. We end. went through some stuff, Sorry. man. The struggle doesn't end. No, yeah, like, because you're you're a new business at one million and, in revenue. And you have you're growth. A new business at five million points. in revenue. Yeah, like you have growth pain points and. You just have to adapt. Yeah. No matter what. Even right now. It doesn't end after yeah. the beginnings, uh, the the beginning heartaches. Like, Cause like you keep growing and it, yeah. Think yeah. about think about right now. We are a different company today. Yeah. Hundred percent. Than last year. So different. Oh shoot. You, yeah. We're about to embark in a whole nother you know, journey kinds now. Of, we got all our kinds of things. We're about to be in twenty five states, right? So like again. What I wanted to end the, the end because again this could go on for freaking I know, we could yeah. so yeah. long. <laughs> what I wanted to end with though is, if you don't have a support system out there, and you're a mom and pop shop and you're a small cleaning company and you're trying to grow, you're trying to learn, know that you have support here with us. Yeah. Right. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Anybody could call us, reach out, you know, send me a message, find us on social media, yeah. follow us, subscribe to our channel, check out Cleaning the Cocktails. We are here as a support system for those that don't have it. Uh, our doors are open. You guys have seen people coming in here to try to learn, understand the business, because who better to learn from the business than people that have lived, struggled, fought that fight yeah. than people like us yeah. or others, right? We've got great friends here in Chicago area where, you know, I, we team up, we partner, we collaborate. This is, this is a competitive industry, but it doesn't, it doesn't have to be, a, a, a mean industry, right? Like there's yeah. so much business out there, work. Tony, me and you talk about all the time. The guys that we have here in the Chicago area that we're friends with, right? The the Saul, Mark, Juan, those in, uh, what's the last time we went up for a bid against those guys? Never. Yeah. We you just, uh, you share the business. Share the business. Yeah. Share it. Right? Like There's so much out there. We have an affiliate partner network for those that don't know on the Rosalado side, where we're always looking for good cleaning business owners that want to team up and work with us because we're go we are nationwide, right? Yeah. So again, we could talk hours, more yeah. stories. Let's wrap it up with Well here I wanna say one other thing too though. You know, like when Ricky was touching on um reaching out to us, and I don't want this to sound arrogant in any type of way, but sometimes it's lonely at the top. And when I say that is like you have people that you're in charge of and, and sometimes people forget the weight that's on your shoulders, you know, but from a business owner to another one, like we are here, reach out. Even if it's like, Hey, how'd you get through this? How'd you get through that? Because there was times where we, it was Rick and I almost shedding a tear. Like, Oh man, what yeah. are we going to do? 2019. Yeah. 2019. <laughs> and, um, we got through it, you know? So if you don't have that person, yeah, we're, we are here to talk, mentor, help, 
in any type of way, you know? So, carry on. No, so I'd say on that note, because we can keep going, guys. Yeah, we could. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. And it's Love been you a guys. long time coming. Love you, Love you guys. Love you. And again, cleaning cocktails. You guys, you guys know what it's about. Talk <laughs> about storytelling here, man. Please subscribe. Check in. Listen to us. Find us. Everything that you guys need in our industry, we're here for. So, again, thank you. Look below. Drop a comment. What other topics you guys want us to discuss about? Again, we're, we're here to empower the cleaning industry. Uh, thank you. Love you. Respect you. Until next time.